Hey girl, hey, I'm Julie Bender, creator of Hashtag Praying For Your Husband Daily. I'm a former widow, happily remarried to the love of my life. I'm a boy mom, I'm a daughter, a sister, a friend, a podcaster, a writer, and a wifey who is passionate about sharing my experience in both a happy and healthy marriage and also in a more difficult one. My first marriage was a real struggle in a variety of ways, but it taught me to take my marriage to God on a daily basis through prayer. Areas where I felt like my marriage was struggling or I was misunderstood or I was overlooked, I learned to go to God. Oftentimes, he would readjust my thinking and help me to realize that I was being kind of selfish. But then in the other bigger areas where there really were issues, I was able to connect with God in the places that I wasn't able to connect with my husband. I brought this series back after I was remarried, and I'm so excited to create a place for women to talk about maybe the less often talked about places of marriage where you might struggle or you might feel misunderstood or overlooked, and then really begin to create a culture of prayer around your marriage. In these videos, I'll just take a topic from my own life and marriage that I know is important to be thinking about on a regular basis. We'll talk about what that means and then we will pray for that thing. Today, the topic is his future. So like I said, I was married before my first husband passed away and I just got remarried mm, about six months ago. And so this past weekend, I was lovingly looking at my husband. We were watching some movie or something and the couple was about to have a baby. <laughs> and I just kind of caught myself thinking about what my husband will be like when he sees our child born. This is not a pregnancy announcement. I'm so sorry. But I just got to thinking about what it will be like if God would add to our family down the road one day. That's a prayer and a hope of ours. Not yet, but eventually. I also was thinking about what it will be like when he expands his business and he's um, you know, got a greater vision for what he wants to do long term. I started thinking about what it'll be like when we have a different home, you know, separate from where we both lived before we were married, choosing a home together, maybe expanding our family, what my business will be like as it grows. And I just kept thinking about how the future is so unknown, it's uncertain, but it's also full of hope. And I wanna keep an attitude of laying our future as individuals, husband, wife, as a couple and as a family before God. I don't wanna get caught up in worrying about our future or stressing about it or controlling it or over planning it. Any other woman struggle with those things? But instead I want to be hopeful like I was feeling the other night. I don't want to try to rush things. I don't want to try to make things happen. I don't want to put pressure on him to be ready for certain phases before he would maybe want to be, or I don't want him to feel like I'm in charge of doing any of these steps, but instead that we as a couple are following the Lord and trusting him with our future. So if I really want to do that, I have to learn to pray for my husband and for his future and for our future on a regular basis. God is the one who holds our futures. He's the one who knows every single hair on our heads, every single day that we will live, all the plans he has for us are already laid out and we get to walk in that every single day. When I'm too focused on the future, I don't enjoy the present. And that's such a struggle for some of us. For me, that's not as much my struggle. I tend to not focus on the future and instead only live in the minute. So for me, this is a balance of actually thinking toward and praying toward the future while still enjoying the present and not dwelling on the past. So with this in mind, let's ask God to give us the perfect perspective of caring about our future, planning for it, praying for it, being mindful of what God may have for us while also still enjoying the present with our husbands and in this moment. Let's pray. God, I thank you so much for the truth that you are the holder and the keeper and the planner and the fulfiller of every moment of our lives that you already know exactly what you have for each and every one of us, for our husbands, for us as wives, for us as couples, for us as families. And God, sometimes we can be overwhelmed thinking about what you might be doing or why you're not doing something we've asked you to do or why you have done something that has been hard in our past. And yet God, we also really full-heartedly trust you and we put our hope in you and, and we look to you to be the author of all things in our lives. God, I thank you so much that you are a good God whose future is secure. I thank you that because of who you are, our futures are secure in you. You know every single day of every single one of our lives who will watch this video. We thank you for the fact that you've already planned out each of our days 
for our husband's lives, for our lives, for us as couples and families and as individuals. And God, we confess that sometimes we get obsessed with the future. We're worrying or we're planning and we're forgetting to live in the moment today. And so we ask today for the ability to slow down or to be hopeful for the future. You know what each and every one of us needs individually, whether we're focusing too much on the future or we're forgetting to plan for the things that are to come. I pray that you would give our husbands the ability to put their trust and their faith in you as the one who holds their future. We know that you have good plans for each and every one of us, but that doesn't mean our paths will always be easy. The Bible actually says that even as Christians, we will experience hardship just like Jesus experienced suffering and hard days. So help us to not um, be distracted when we experience those trials and sufferings that are inevitable, but instead, God, that we would continue to keep our hope and our eyes set on you. We pray for our husbands as they are the leaders of our family. When we experience difficult paths or hard seasons, I pray that their hope would continue to be secured on you and on your good future for us and for our families. So we ask for any of us who are in a season of transition where we're unsure of our future and we find ourselves frustrated or worried or stressed, we lay that down to you, God. We trust you. We choose to trust you again in this moment. We ask for our husbands to be realigned to your purpose and to your will um, for his future and for our family's future. And for those who maybe, God, are afraid to think of the future, I pray that you would give us a godly expectant hope for what's to come for our individual lives and for our marriages. God, we thank you that we can um, come to you with all things, with all desires, with all hopes, with all fears. And God, we don't want to be afraid of our future. We want to um, confidently expect what you have for us. We know that Jesus is coming back one day, and so we do pray for that ultimate um, day to be soon. Pray that that would be the future we're all putting our hope in. But God, until he returns, we ask that you would um, make us mindful of how you're working and you're moving in every single day that we experience, that we would live it to the fullest, and that we would um, trust you to walk out the plans you have for each and every one of us. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys, this is something easy you can pray for all the time. Our future is secure in God, and yet each day we have an opportunity to experience him in the here and now. So let's pray that our husbands would experience God today, that we would experience God today, and we would walk with him in each of our future days as well. You can share this video with another wifey or wannabe wifey who wants to implement the habit of praying every single day for her husband. I'll catch you on the next one.